Buttons depressed. Okay, let's do this thing we call lunch. Try it on the set. Sitting on the lot, playing our guitars. <laughs> Greetings, everybody. This is Laz. And this is Jack. Welcome to another edition of Lunch with Laz and Jack, where we interpret the Shroud of the Avatar news so you don't have to do anything other than question your own personal life choices and ours. Uh, that one was also AI-generated. No idea why that guitar was in there uh, at the end. Yeah, it's, you know, loot, guitar, I don't know. And, and, it, and <clears throat> that one also ended abruptly. Yeah, uh, that, that happens. And, uh, yes, that was uh, one of the ones that was uh, created using uh, Sunu as uh, the AI-generated yeah. uh, music and song-making uh, thing. And, of course... Just a reminder that uh, the song creation contest is open throughout the rest of the month. Uh, this week, just uh, pre previewing stuff that I created just off the off the cuff, just by throwing a couple of, uh, you know, feeding it some lines about some stuff that I wanted to write a song about, and it throws together these songs, and uh, you too. You can create your own Laz and Jack song, NBNN song, Shot of the Avatar song by clicking the link below, following the prompts, and uh, submitting your tune to us for submissions. Uh, if you submit them, we will preview them, and at the end of the month, uh, out of all the submissions, if we get any, we haven't gotten any yet, uh, we'll pick the best one and use it next month. So go ahead and do that because you've got a chance to, of course, get your song previewed as well as win 1,000 kodos uh, from yours truly. So go give it a try. It's fun. Yes. I mean, who did the hard work of entering the keywords? I did. 
That's all it is. It's just centering. Actually, it's just two different ways to do it. Uh, just so people know. Let's uh, let's get out there real quick and just. Uh, uh, now I got to remember what's the name of that site. I, I'll, I'll give you a link here in just a second. Uh, it's not Pornhub. That's a I can't access that from Texas without a VPN. <laughs> oh, are you one of those uh, states that's requiring age mm -hmm. verification now? For every access, <laughs> which is okay. not something that's uh, <sighs> practical at all. Not something that's practical. Nope. All right, there's the link, and uh, I'm going to throw this up on screen. So there's uh, two different modes. As you can see, I have a whole bunch of stuff here on the list that have, I've created. Um, and if you don't add your own name, uh, it goes ahead like the uh, Forever 2, which was the first one I did. Uh, you'll notice that uh, there's a couple of different Forever 2s in there because, you know, I was working on them. And you can actually continue, but there's custom mode and regular mode. The regular mode is you just put the song description in, what you want it to do, and hit that Create button. And it will take the description and just create something that you want out of it. If you want to get a little bit fancier, you can go to custom mode and you can actually enter specific lyrics. And there are uh, other, uh, what's the word I can use? What's the word I want? Uh, command syntax, uh, the best word for it that you can use. So. If you want something that is uh, spoken, you can, you know, uh, add, add a, a word in brackets, you know, spoken, and it'll speak those words instead of singing those words. Uh, you can do verse one, verse two, uh, you know, all that, all that stuff. And uh, for all that information, just, you know, go read the uh, FAQ, and the FAQ will give you more information on the all the little things that you can do with it <clears throat> to uh, help help you in your quest to create a cool song. But there's two different ways. And then, of course, you know, you can always just create an instrumental just by clicking that little button. But uh, we don't want just instrumentals because we want to hear your story. So, um, and again, I got to thank uh, Necronut for turning me on to this because, uh, yeah. It, just for giggles and grins, uh, let's see. I, I I did one for just a. Uh, is this the one? Hang on, let me see. Quiet on the set. Yeah, that's the one. Is did I have that one in here for you guys? Nine years plus. Uh, yeah. Quiet on the set. How do one I share? Second. One second. All right. So that one was actually I just took the intro that you're all used to, and uh, took that whole script and just threw it in there and had them do the script that you're used to hearing one of them. But to share, you have to go over to the uh, little square box with the arrow, copy song link. Yep. There, and then I you can. One. And then you can. Uh, here we go. Mine's got stupid. Uh, I mean, it's like I I did some silly silly shit on. Okay, it. so um, and then, then when you do that, it will actually show what the verse is, what the verse is, and okay, so uh, we we got to hit play separately because I can't download this version. Only only you can download it and share that. So. Yeah. <clears throat> do you, do you see the lyrics that it generated? I I do, <clears throat> and I'm interested <laughs> in logging on, well, scrolling the, through the, the feed. 
the the uh the two styles that they chose i did not really like but well you uh, can pick your own play. style count this well, in. I, I just used random yeah count three this in. two one play just for the course and for the fee Logging those going through the feet Lunch with lies and jack, it's chaos indeed Breaking news, they're on the attack Spinning stories, can't keep track Ooh. Avatar in interpretations <laughs> Minds in a world, shroud of confusion Truth unfurls, opinions fly, tempers start to rise. The greatest train wreck before our eyes. Ooh, yeah. Always lunch with lies and jack, hidden death's delight. Bug after bug, it's their claim. Out of the avatar, it's a crazy ride. Interpreting the news, they've got no shame. <laughs> Gotta love it. Love this shit. I tell you what. <clears throat> but yes, it's I, that I simple. Can see how lo- people have lots of fun with. with e- 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 even Jack can do it. Look at that. So yes, is uh. And again, uh, you can have some fun. You get uh, how many credits did you get there? Like a hundred or something? Oh, I'm yeah, I've got forty credits left. Yeah, is uh, you, you get credits, and then of course you can buy monthly, or you can, uh, you know, you know, buy by the year. Um, I just did a monthly subscription to, uh, you know, so I can play with you know, play with it all day long. And of course, uh, during peak times, if you're using the free account, you may have to wait a minute or two before you can actually create something. But uh, yes, is uh, this this is the songwriting contest, and even Jack can do it. So uh, you gotta love this shit. And then uh, and, if you and I, I just like put like uh, keywords like bug lunch with Laz and Jack. Uh, uh, Shroud of the Avatar. It's what I actually put in there, mm. and uh, a few interpreting the news. Yeah, patch up. We're going to be getting to that here in just a minute. We're going to be answering some of those questions uh, that you've got. But uh, then also, mm. just to point out, uh, you can uh, actually, if you click on those three little dots, you can choose to uh, remix the song. You can choose to continue on from the song to extend the song. And then once you've continued yeah. on, you can join the two two pieces together and it'll create a full song. Uh, so, so if Patchup has that question about, so what is the deal with the dev team coming back to Soda? That was done on April Fools. Chris isn't coming back. Anytime soon. That was the lunch with Laz and Jack at April Fool's joke that Chris Spears was returning to the team. Yes, is, uh, I think I, th- I think I think he was talking about the other video though. But uh, and then the Maynard uh, says, oh. "Laz, has you noticed that you cannot bundle your bunny to be traded? What bunny? What bunny are you talking about?" And speaking of bundles and being traded, uh, I actually did win uh, two prizes, it oh, seems, the bunny ears. during, during the, the bunny live ears. stream. Uh, the Dark Star Moon Dial and the Total Eclipse Cloak, uh, I won during last Friday's live stream, and I got those today, even though I've got several uh, the bunny ears. Uh, I don't know what, what he's talking about. What bunny ears? The subscriber reward, maybe. I don't know. I, don't I didn't. Know. I didn't uh, check subscriber rewards. Let's go check the rewards. What is the rewards for this month? Uh, 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 rewards. And he's, it's a yes, Jack, to rewards. 
Uh, d -d 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 subscriber rewards, 124. Uh, what is in that one? Uh, 124 is a floral hedge box set. Flowers. I don't know what bu what bunny ears you're referring to. I really don't. Mm -hmm. there, were, there were no bunny ears given out as rewards. You, are you talking about the eggs? Maybe Have last given month? Out? Uh, last month was 123 was clover pavers. No, that was St. Patrick's Day last month. Mm. Hmm. That was St. Patrick's Day. So yeah, wh but, which which bundle? You got to be a little bit more specific, considering if you see the list here, you'll notice that uh, I don't uh, open up uh, many of these rewards, including the login rewards. I mean, uh, you'll notice that I I have a smaller amount of uh, login rewards uh, here, but uh, that's because I've taken them out, and I'm going to just run around here to my bank box real quick. And uh, I don't recall why I did this, but then I have in the bank, for those of you who don't know, that uh, the non-tradable items do not take up room in your bank. So I went ahead and uh, created a box of no-trade items, and you'll notice here that I have a the sh other shit ton of login rewards that I just never opened. Uh, in this bundle here. So, I mean, I, I really don't use a whole bunch of those. Um, so, uh, if there were login rewards, login rewards, all of them are not tradable. Uh, that much I can tell you. Um, subscriber rewards, if it's a subscriber reward. Um, yeah, login rewards are not tradable. That, that's just the way they are. We know this. You should know this by now. Uh, they're just not tradable. That's just, you know, we've been complaining about that for years, dude. Where you been? I've been complaining about that since they started it. <laughs> yes, we're very we're very aware that they're not tradable. But uh, on another note, uh, we were talking yesterday uh, about uh, Rimu Arayu, who sent uh, this note about the interesting find in the book, and he actually reached out to me yesterday uh, in Discord. And he was actually referring to the Book of Lazarus, Volume 1. He wasn't referring to uh, the right. other book, um, funny enough. But uh, he did, as far as I understand, go out and uh, purchase, purchase the other the, book. Uh, and then he, al he also asked for a copy of the original book, the uh, you know, for prosperity's sake. The uh, uh, make, make, make 10 make copies of this book and sell it. Yes. You know? I told him I would look to see if there was a, a version well, of it floating I mean, around. You, you, did you tell him the story of a dagger, a dagger strikes twice? No, is uh, you the know first I, banned book in Shroud of the Avatar. Yeah, the dagger strikes twice. If you can find a copy of that, uh, Ryu. Well, it uh, it was not actually in production. It was uh, before release. Uh, good point. And uh, so, he also yeah. told me that he is Italian. And he wanted permission to go ahead and uh, uh, trans trans uh, translate, translate the books into Italian, which I told him he had, could go ahead and do. And when he does so, he's going to send me uh, copies in Italian that I can have for my collection. So, uh, again, cool. big shout out to him uh, for uh, just uh, reaching out. And, of course, again, uh, thanks for the lovely words. Uh, yeah. Yes, that was banned three devious back in the day. And he would pirate that book and make hundreds of copies, the Maynard says. <laughs> yeah. Well, you, you would have to find someone that has the original text of it and then uh, put yes. it in Shroud. But it was originally done by Wolfdom. But did you want to go to the Shroud of the Avatar Facebook, the unofficial Facebook group? The unofficial facebook group we're, and i not got the I, official facebook group but well, the fan group the, the, where chris the, spears will actually post on things there the official unofficial group because that's the group they actually link to um i believe in in all their public postings they link to this group uh which is not the official group but uh yeah it, it is a fan run and managed yes just like the discord 
Jaime Savage Fury joining us on on the set. And, of course, Casey Cupcake. So he's good to see Casey hanging out. Yes. Haven't seen him in a while. Formerly known as Sucks to Be You, another band item, band name mm -hmm. in the... Uh... <laughs> Which was reported by Jack Knife. Hi, Jack Knife in Dallas. But, yes... So Andrew Weatherhead finally downloaded the game and going to give it a try. I know the Steam charts aren't accurate, but what is around the daily play player count? And of course, yours truly came and showed him what we know. Shroudoftheavatar.net, how many player people play? Shroud of the Avatar which is the most accurate statistics because that is originating from the Shroud API. And now I actually have to... Yeah, the API and ShroudedAvatar.net is taking its own yeah. sweet time to open today. Oh, because well, I could not be reached. It, it, it... Uh, da, 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 da. Hold on. What is, what is going on with ShroudedTheAvatar.net? I don't know. Apparently, it's not working right this minute. Oh, no. ShroudedTheAvatar.net having issues. But anyway, we yeah. were talking about that the other day, and we did show you uh, stats from the other day. Yes. Um, but then after that, hard to believe that is accurate. I've seen a good 10 or so new re returning players this week, me being one of them. Elena, as the the API stats, the best information we have. Yes. That is coming directly from the API that they have set up. So believe it or not, uh, that is your best judge of actual players. And it's not a daily count. It's a monthly count. So don't rely on it for a daily count. That's a monthly count. And, of course, uh, that doesn't uh, filter out multiple accounts. It doesn't filter out, you know, IPs or anything like that. It's just how many different accounts logged in um, at any given point. Now, of course, we'll get to some other stuff, and I'll talk about that when we get to it here um, in the next couple of posts. So, uh, yes. Um, any new updates? I was just. I just always see cosmetics being updated. Pretty much all that is. Um, so far, I've had fun. Good. Uh, Good to hear you having fun. Mark, here. with the response, in the last four months, I've been adding new players at a rate of two or three a day. I heard that Steam only accounts for 5% of the player base. It's not 5%, it's 25 to 30%. Yeah, about, about one five. third. And that Mark is uh, Vulcan Jedi, just so you yes, guys know. He's uh, also our Extra um, Life man, and uh, he's been doing some Extra Life stuff already this year. And uh, we'll, we'll be talking about that maybe at the end of the week, because he just got some new donations. And, and he posted that on, on the page. Um, then after that, um, at least it used to be, and all of the few hundred daily players I see all the time don't think too much about it. Uh, Henry with, I love Shrouded the Avatar. You can be anything if you try, and I'm willing to help you do be what others say can't be built, like my archer tank, and I'm Lineman King in-game. Lineman King. I don't know that name, so let me see if I have Lineman King. On my yeah. friends list, if not line man to... as one word and then king as the surname. No, airy fund is no longer a thing that has been dissolved. This player is already on your friends list. Why does that not surprise okay. me? <laughs> and Joe with player active population is a metric not released to the public. According to a recent live stream, they are on phase three of the game. Phase one was Portalarium owned. Phase two is Catnip Games owned and run by Chris. Uh, phase three is Catnip Games owned and run by Ravelox. 
it was mentioned that there are developers working on the game and you have to use your imagination on how much income the game generates to support making a living from it. The game is an instance designed to reduce player population on certain zones to help mitigate game lag. This makes it difficult to judge population from a player perspective. I have anywhere from 40 to 80 players online just from my friends list. Okay, so now, Joe. Joe? Yeah, you you want to go first? I'll let you go first. No, you you go first. You go okay. first. Okay. So Joe, yes, your uh, player list is a very good judge. Right now, I actually have sixty online, actively online, which means I usually say maybe double what I have on my players list because I don't have everybody, but I do have the most comprehensive friends list in the game by far. Um, I, I've outpaced even Lord British when it came to friends list, and I haven't even counted since 2019. But as of 2019, I had the most extensive friends list in the game of anybody that would compare you know, notes with me because I add people left and right. I've constantly got this open, uh, which is the nearby players list, and things like uh, when you see something like I'm lineman king in game. You can copy and paste that into your friends list and just add people randomly. When I see people um, in chat that I don't know, I right click on their names. And uh, let me bring this up here. But if you see somebody in chat that you don't know, you can right click on their name. If they're not a friend, you can also add them, which I do on the regular basis. But uh, I always figured there's double the number of people that. Uh, I see on my friends list, even though I know mine is probably the most accurate that I get. Now, I've got 60 at the moment. Jack, I'm going to say you've got about 35 to 38 on your friends list right now. I have currently 29. It was 29. 38 okay. earlier. It was it okay? So, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, it, it was, just, was 38 was earlier. Guess. Yeah. But um, uh, like several people went offline. But, uh, Joe, you're quite correct. The population is a metric that's not released to the public except through the public API, which I linked above. Yes. And that yeah. is actually from them. Now, we've asked that they just put a little, you know, blurb up, you know, how many people are actually constantly online, how many, you know, how many people are logging in daily. But they, for some reason, don't want those numbers to be released. And again, uh, after that video from uh, Peon, uh, I forget what his full name was, but uh, there has been a, a steady influx a of new bump. players, yes. um, thanks to him. And again, uh, I did mention these three phases that Ravlox talked about, which uh, you know we've been saying for the longest time that Ravlox has been in charge forever now, and you know we really didn't have any proof until he actually said so on live stream this past friday um and and that's that that's one we've known for a long time because uh when we get to chris's comment we will actually revisit that but let's finish up the rest of this comment real quick and well, then chris's you, you, comment you did, then we'll you? provide that no i didn't finish it um yeah 48 oh, yeah, 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 yeah. online my so friends list chris, yeah. chris yeah chris responded with yeah, Ravelox is steering the ship, but I'm still here making sure he doesn't run the ship aground and help put out fires. Hoping to use the new company to help attract new players back to Shroud once we get things going. Okay, Chris, this is for you. Isn't that the same bullshit logic you fucking used when you were with Demeta? Iron and then, magic. The, Iron and Magic. That was the game Iron and Magic, which as that wrapped up and you said that you were done with that project around October of 2022, that you would be back on the Shroud team full-time-ish back in November of 2022. Followed okay. by the creation of a brand new game company called up. Pangea Games, founded in 2022, which means you never came back to the project like you said you were. And how is a new game project going to recruit players back to Shroud? 
Especially well, when they're both operating within these, a similar realm. They are both uh, MMOs of sorts. I, I'm going to take a leap here and just go that he's going to try some kind of cross-promotion if this game ever gets off the ground. Um, that, again, that's just a guess, but um, yeah, I don't see... Per, what first kind off, of cross-promotion can you do with a free-to-play game? I yeah I don't know I I don't know uh, you know we we've done several cross promotions you know we did a cross promotion with Star Citizen which still has yet to release its fucking game thirteen years later yeah. at, with a half a billion plus dollars in funding where we had fifteen million dollars in funding and we actually released the final product in two thousand eighteen with fifteen million so with a half a billion friggin dollars. You would think that Chris Roberts and Star Citizen would be able to actually release a functional game past the alpha stage uh, all these years later, but uh, you know. Yeah. But I so, so I don't know. Three devious. What did I say that was so funny that made you choke? <laughs> all of it. it. Well, well, like the observation of this Bullshit. is an absurd comment. Yeah. Oh well, yeah, and, and it's like I, I don't see make sense. that if you're working on another game, you want to put all your energy into the new game to get a player base, to get funding, and to drive that game. So why you would take any of the steam from that game and divert it to a game that you've almost literally abandoned? Even though you know we've yes. seen two comments from Chris this past week, which. I'll give him props but, for actually but, making but, comments but, on, but yeah. N- neither one of them, neither one of the comments were in. So if you go to the Proud of the Avatar forums, you go look at Chris, last seen January 14th, 2023. Yeah, he hasn't done anything. It, so he has abandoned his own product. And even remember, it's like when he, when he's like March of 2022 or something like that, when he was still on live streams and he said that, hey, he was going to be um, one of the reasons for working with this other game company um, because other people in the community found out about it was it was good for Shroud in that he was able to not take his salary and provide that to another dev. Okay. We still don't know what devs are really working on the project and how much time they're dedicating towards the project. As it is, we know that Sanyo is working on the brand new project. Damon is working on the new, new project. Both of those are associated with project rise. The executive producer of project rise is star long. Dark star. Yeah, and then other I mean, former even even little Bobby Port Thompson William devs. Yeah, former Dr. Port Bob. William devs are Dr. Bobby Thompson also there. They're not contributing to Shroud that much. So it's like as it is, the patch notes and the, the fixes that are provided that we receive as players have dwindled. Yeah, like this past month's patch notes were probably the leanest, shortest version. I mean, barely a page of patch notes. This was it right here. You're seeing this little scroll. This was all the notes for the whole month right there in that little blurb, which, you know, really, really wasn't much to talk about because, you know, and, and again, you know, is if we, we stop believing that we're doing a, uh, Polish, Polish content, Polish, Polish content. When we went and showed you that this was a Polish month, but all this content was released well, I mean, this past <clears throat> month, you know, and I understand that it's Deco, I, I, but Deco I, is still I, content. I am glad that they are releasing assets to the crown shop, new shit. Yes. That, that, remember, that is their funding model. That, that, Selling dig- pixel crack is their funding model. So if they are not releasing new shit, they're not targeting a new revenue stream. Yeah. Which is of new shit. <clears throat> hey, well, let's finish this one, then we'll get into that one. Well, we have to 
give away some old shit. Hey, what well, more do you want? What oh, more do you have to finish? Well, yeah. uh, Aaron Leclerc's comment. Oh, there's another yet another comment on top of that. I didn't yes. realize that. Uh, hold on. Let's... And famines is ended. It's also time for us to pull streamer bundles, and that's going to famines. But Aaron Leclerc is like, well, there's a single player version of the game. Never messed with it. I hear you can get companions. Multiplayer was is great. Community real friendly when I played. Sendetta you see in this game additional. Main... Uh... It was posted 33 minutes ago, dude. Speaking of streamer bundles, Laz, is yours open? Yeah, sure is. Let me verify mm -hmm. that. Um, yeah, it's open. Uh -huh. AP is Stabbeth on 12. Twitch. Uh, I've been uh, thinking uh, about coming back. Last time I did, took me three hours moving myself back and carrying my stuff encumbered from mailbox to lot. I did things correctly. think I wouldn't have to do that this time. Just find a lot, claim it, and everything is placed from mailbox. <clears throat> that goes outside stuff too. If so, I will likely check back in the game soon. <clears throat> But, I, I, I'm, not, I'm not getting any notification um, that's that I was probably there. That's probably because you entered and you got your notification earlier. I have 12 people in there, so more likely than not, you're there. Okay, because the first, first time I entered it, I didn't get anything. Well, we're going to close it right now. We'll see if you got lucky. You did not. Patch up. Patch up. There's a name I haven't seen in a while. It is the winner. And patch up. What is your in-game name? Let me see if I have patch up. Patch up. What is your in-game name? Are you patch up in game? Turin Erdlingers. How do you pronounce that? <laughs> Yeah, say arrow. I'll, I'll say arrow lingus. Well, I'll add that to my list of uh, people. Arrow lingus, so yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> so, like the combination of arrow Flynn and dingus. <laughs> Ooh. Um, well, well, it, that or the airline. Let's see. Is my copy paste going to Airl Air Air the, airline? The, the, no, it's not. Yeah, the the Irish airline is uh, Aero A E R O, and then Lingus. So it's Aero Lingus. I think. I think it's got an A in it. I remember correctly. I mean, that's a Google search away. <laughs> Cheap flights. Oh, it's A E R. Uh, there is no O. Aerolingus. There's no O in a. There's no O in an, an Irish airline. Oh. Nope. There's no O face. <laughs> All right. But got him uh, added there. So let's go ahead and get his uh, bundle. If I can get to the mailbox. <clears throat> but today is the final day to purchase. Oh, you the jumping, 10K. You're jumping ahead of me here? Hey, uh, I, I told you I was going to go to it. Oh, I wasn't finished uh, with comments on something else, but okay. Oh, I already finished that one. Well, I wanted to talk uh, a little bit more about uh, Joe Michael saying, uh, you know, that uh, we we can only imagine the funding, you know, and again, we know that most of the funding is coming from subscriptions to Portalarium. Subscriptions, yes, because you know to Portalarium. Wait, um, even Crown purchases go where? Portalarium. Portalarium. That's right. Portalarium. So does that mean? that Portalarium is a dead company? Fuck no, because you're making payments to Portalarium, which means it can't die. And then I was also going to jump down to uh, Mark's other post, but uh, we can come back to that. 
yeah, it's much more entertaining to, uh, I'm at nine comments now, but, uh, but, uh, where is, uh, where is that other post? There it is. All right, the, one day left. One, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll only one, one day, day left, left, and this was posted yesterday. So today is the final day of making purchases of the $80 Koto pack to receive the 10,000 plus Kotos. Because it's okay a, for me, but it's not okay for <laughs> thee. It's okay for us to charge a, $80 to sell you an th item th this is, one time. This is the funny shit. Funny fucking shit. Once this offer expires, the 2024 Dark Star Metronome becomes unavailable forever. If you are a follower of the Lord of Chaos, like the Gothic style, or just like to own a true rare item, then this is a must have. Perfect for displaying during Samhain or Samhain, or as a not so unspoken indication that your fellow Chaotics are welcome in your home, dungeon, or basement. Okay, so does this mean that we're going to go back on our policy and remove from the Crown Store anything that says, like, say, 2014, 2015, 2016, uh, 2017, 2018, 2019, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023? Huh? Are, are we going to go delete that shit? From the, the crown store wouldn't and, and the vault? Wouldn't be prudent. Wouldn't be why, prudent. Why would you order that, dude? Knight Rider? He ordered he ordered one. Andrew ordered three of them, from what I understand. And mm. patch up, uh, you, you should get back in because uh, you have better chances on Jack's stream all the time. Yeah. And Twitch I, TV slash cynicist. And I gotta reopen. So there we go. It is now reopened, so now you can type in bundle me again for a chance to win at the end. Yeah, see Andrew Andrew spent a whole crap ton of money. But a, a, yes, Andrew a, Andrew, as I was reading the other day in Universe Chat has given away two castle lot deeds also. So Andrew's got some money to burn, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> Andrew, Andrew, I got I gotta hand it to you. <laughs> I, I, I about died and spit my soda out when I read that the other day. And you gave away two castle lot deeds. So April nice Fool's giveaway. <laughs> Yeah, but uh, and it's like my issue and Laz's issue is why are we still seeing things that were supposed to be one time or one year only available dated items? It wasn't even supposed why to be are they available back in for the, a year. They were only supposed to be available yeah, for the one season, one for season the, for, for the month that they were available. So if the yes. Easter basket for 2016. It was only supposed to be available during that month, live stream month when they gave that away. And, and even then, yeah. that was it, you know, but. And, and then it's like, then the other items that were never supposed to come back, like vault items that were tied to uh, stretch goals that never met. These things all should be retired from the add-on store. All of them. They but, should you know, go bye bye. Tr truth be told, the stretch goal items I really don't have that much nope. qualm with. Um, the stretch goal way. items should go bye bye because they closed those stretch goals. Well, if they'd again, like to reopen those stretch goals, is, uh, th that that is fine. When you didn't get to the stretch goal and they add the items in, yeah, you know, yeah. Remember that, that, that's just that me. The the stretch the the amount that you backed for those stretch goals, right? You paid a lot more money than the vault edition of the item. Because well, like right now, from the vault, you I got the saddlebags yeah. with stand, right? Yeah. So if you go to Soda Wiki right now, give me a link. Once you get there, hold on, hold on. I yeah. gotta find the right fucking item. 
Da, 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 because it didn't actually come up with the right item. Uh, saddle bags. Withstand. Okay. If you go to the Soda Wiki for the Saddlebags Withstand, which is the exact same image, okay, you will see that the uh, it was part of the vault for a limited time, uh, was previously in the pack animal stretch goal. It was originally priced at ten dollars. Ten dollars. Okay. Ten dollars. Currently in the vault for two dollars and seventy-five cents. Now, isn't that vast backwards? I thought they said that vault the items vault are going to be higher premium? price, premium price, compared to their original items, and that the sale items. So, you know, it, would, would, would patch be up is going sale with items. That that one ton statement was from another company. Okay, that company was Portalarium, who the CEO was Chris Spears, which then sold its assets to a guy by the name of Chris Spears that that has the exact same social security number, same home address as the Portalarium CEO, Chris Spears. So to go with hey, those are two separate companies and we're not obligated to do those things. I mean, the tech director that, guy who, who made all this tech and promised all this tech that we didn't get in the first place. You know, like those Duke the, heads these that we spent 5000 plus dollars for. Yeah. So the, the guy yes, that was there... We're never going to let those Duke those heads die, by the way. And <laughs> responsible for some of them um is now doing the policy so, so like when it comes to that 10,000 Kodo pack remember i stopped my subscription on release 69 when i issued my developer challenge because i was frustrated with the God. amount of bugs related to the episode 1 quest line and i i offered a uh developer challenge number 2 my first one was also never met which was for a dev to complete the Shroud quest without cheating. It hasn't happened yet. I, I mean, there, there are devs that, that, so it's like they would have to play it solo, do all of it without cheating. Um, hasn't happened. <clears throat> Yeah, same company, not focus of half of plus company. They use the same uh, licenses for everything. So the same Unity licenses, the same uh, yeah. uh, hardware. Mm -hmm. Fun, yeah. funding, funding source is still going to the original company. So as long as yes. the funding source is still going to the original company, I think the original company's promises should still be met, but that's just me. Yeah, I don't know. What yeah. do you guys think? But moving right but, along. But hey, we also stopped doing a lot of fucking purchases when they started bringing shit back to the vault. Um, and yeah, all those ass backwards decisions. Because Chris Spears was focused on making Shroud of the Avatar less and less money focused. Yes. And that is actually a direct quote from Chris Spears. Now, again, we, he, we've, he we've said it once, and we'll, we'll probably say it hundreds of more times over the years. Uh, Jack and I both have 10-plus uh, accounts each. But every month, we were spending money on all 10 of those accounts. Uh, putting multiple hundreds of dollars into the pockets of the development team. Okay, now now when they started doing this, and this is just us two guys, you know, I, I'm going to say on average three hundred dollars each a month, and I'm no more. Some months were even more than that. Some months were a little less than that, but on average, 
That was about $600 a month just coming from us two players. That's on average. Okay? Because we, we uh, would throw in money for all the accounts we had just for Teleton rewards. And then if there was something really cool for sale that they had released, we'd go buy multiples of 10 or 20 of them on top of that and have them on uh, you know in our inventories for later resale on the secondary market because they were supposed to be rares yeah you know, so when people came later on they would have a chance to get their hands on them um yeah three devious uh yes uh let's uh get to that uh matter of fact uh where is that uh let's go to the pin comments i believe that's we we have that yeah in the pin comments but it, it's it's a screenshot yeah here we go. I will open this up in so the browser the, the, so that you can actually see this comment uh, was clipped and screenshotted. That the actual quote is a response to Michael Lawrence, whoever that is. No, 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 no. Direction of Shroud isn't changing. My focus for two plus years has been to make it less and less money focused. Uh, not going there. Yes, actual quote. And and if you really think about it, it's like he he has done a fantastic job of making Shroud less and less money. Because I believe Chris was the CEO when things like the vault were created. Well, again, enough about the vault. Hey, we'll, 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 bash the vault. We'll, 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 we'll bash the vault, you know, next week again and later on this week again and <laughs> every other week yeah. from here on out until they, you know, yeah, again. Any time that th yeah. they try to use the word true rare in yeah. Shroud of the Avatar. Is, uh, we, we took us over two years of bitching and moaning about heritage items and pointing out that they weren't making any money from heritage items so they should just get rid of them. And they finally did, did take some of that word to, uh, you know, advice and uh, took a look at the numbers and realized that, you know, we were right. At least, you know, when I, when I brought it up to the right people and they went and did their numbers and crunched the numbers, they realized they weren't making any money from packaging up stuff that was in the heritage items and reselling them. And it wasn't worth it over the last couple of years because nobody was doing it. Because yeah. who's yeah. going to buy something that I have to pay you again? Again, I bought this phone. I own this phone. If I want to sell Jack this phone, I don't have to pay Samsung a 10% premium just to resell my fucking phone. And that's what they were doing with heritage items. They were charging a premium for something that you already bought and owned and then charging you a transaction fee to sell it to somebody else, which was total bullshit. Of course, again, it took us a couple of years, but our, our bitching, moaning, and due diligence got got some you know action out of it, and finally, heritage items are gone. So we're hoping that eventually they'll see the same with the vault, um, and continued like this month to just you know uh, you know release new items, reskin the items, reskin them, give them a new new name, like the Easter basket they did this year. Got no problem reskinning the Easter basket, making it actually carryable this year, um, you know, so that you can put it in your arm and carry the basket around. Um, got no problems with reskinning it and making it a new one for this year, but releasing old ones, yeah. got a big problem with that. You know, and Massive we should get rid of that. With that. We should get rid of that. That's all. It, it, especially when the, the prices when I paid for it initially are half in yeah. the add on store or, or the, the, Crown shop now. And it's it's one where it's like I spent a fuck ton of money, Laz did as well, investing in the development of this game. And it's like Yeah, we're we're never getting off this topic, which I know pisses <laughs> off a few of our viewers. But, but hey, uh, yeah, we're not the and, ones making and, these and, decisions. And I will tell you all that as much as they want to tell you that RMT is dead, um I, I do nothing oh, but no, it's not. I do I do nothing but RMT trades on the side day in and day out week in and week out 
and I am part of a you know I guess I guess it's an underground organization now because we can't do it publicly like uh, we used to do but there are public places where you can go any place that's not directly related to shrouded avatar there's discords there's other websites I, I've, I've I've got a an offer right now on for real money on my painting with Scott Jones with a special frame yeah uh, so speaking, speaking of that one uh did I put that uh that in for no today? you did not I did not and remember today. there's only 53 of them in the game Supposedly. Uh, did I not? No. Huh? Okay, hold on. No, uh, you did not. You, you you have not. I thought because, I, hey, I thought I moved it. I thought I, I, I know it. you said that there's a patch pending for it. Yeah. I uh I thought I put it over here. Here, here it is. I put it over here. I just didn't give it to you. Sorry. Oh, oh. So let's let's just talk about that because yeah, fifty three of them in the game. Uh, but we're we're gonna spend all this time on this uh, one item yes. for, yeah. And uh, verified, but let's see. Title: uh, Painting of Scott Jones is titled Painting Painting of Lord Nimrod Ionescu. The painting of Scott Jones in the Crown Shop is titled Painting of Lord Nimrod uh, Ionescu. And oh, the Crown's no! word, the Painting of Lim Lord. Cover over the item in the bottom window, and it reads Painting of Scott Jones. And the main graphic is also the painting of Scott Jones. Uh, oh, no, can eat again. than you might think. Same guy. That's his in-game name. So why why does the painting of Ravelox not say the painting of Stephen Reinen? Yes. And verified, here's the, the Jira. Here's the fix needs testing. Um, the painting is titled Scott Jones as of 1705. As it was and should be 1699. Um, the painting itself is titled Painting of Scott Jones. The coder score description is titled Painting of Scott Jones, a.k.a. Lord Nimrod Ionescu. It really should be the painting of Lord Nimrod because this is a picture of his character, not of himself. That's right. So... Um, and then it could be like also known as Scotty Scott Jones. Yes, but yeah, it's still yesterday. Issues related to it. You guys made the game worth having for me. Thank you, 3 Devious. I, I mean, we gl we're glad that we can provide you with some entertainment related to Shroud. We still have lots of hope for things to change and heads to come out of asses. What are you looking uh, at, Laz? I'm looking for a key for Waldo because Waldo tossed us 300 bits, and I'm guessing. Oh. Uh, since he can eat again, uh, he came through his uh, colonoscopy oh. okay. Sweet. I hope you got yes. a good diagnosis and everything was clean and... Uh, Didn't go back to eating solid foods. Yeah. Yes. And I hope everything goes through your colon nicely now. Yes. Okay, but it is time for us. Three Devious to start says you guys made the game worth having for me. Thank you, Three Devious, and of course, uh, I already read that. <laughs> you no, weren't no. paying attention. I, I was <laughs> doing other stuff. You, you know, <laughs> huh? What, girl? Exactly, exactly. And then it's like I get to sit there and open up a trade window with my nerd. Uh, he's going to be the winner of my st streamer bundle. And Patch Up winning a second streamer oh, bundle. Motherfucker. What? I forgot to open up my Steam Key giveaway. 
Okay, we'll open it up real quick. I, let them type in exclamation. I, I thought I did it. that before the show. <laughs> nope, I didn't. I just reset it. I didn't click the open button. <laughs> My bad. So that gives you all like a minute to open up that. So who's winning your streamer bundle? That was Patch Up winning again. Oh, that nice. Patch Up two, two in a row for Patch Up. So congratulations to him. As I have to go get his name from the list, but thankfully I saved it, so I can just go ahead and copy and paste him in there. As we get over here, yeah. and uh... oh, what happened there? Is wrong. There we Man. go. Last stream it was Laz that did it, not me. On I Tuesday, I I, I, I forgot to pull. Two during the 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 bottom of the hour stream uh, pull. I pulled one instead of two before I. Right, I gotta take those. Okay, so but let, get... let's see. What Steam key am I gonna be giving away today? Da, 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 da. Sinner, I'm giving away a copy of Sinner. Sinner. And uh, Morkin is going to be our game winner today. And Morkin, you're going to get yourself a copy of... What are you going to get? He's going to oh. get that copy of Cook, Serve, Delicious 3 from yesterday that uh, people couldn't hey, take Lomier. because everybody already had it. Do you want a copy of Sinner... Sinner? Sacrifice for redemption. Dun, dun, dun. No. Okay. The next winner is going to be the Savage Furry. Congratulations, Savage Furry. All right, for Morgan. Sinner, and, sacrifice uh, well, though, I got to find you a key redemption. that you don't already have. So just bear oh, with me. Man. I'll get that out to you here after the show. I probably have to buy uh, another new bundle. So that uh, we got some more random keys out there. But, of course, it's time for oh, us yes. to wrap things up here for today and get the flock out of here. And we will be back with more tomorrow with Frock Awesome Friday right here on NBNN. Till then, I'm Laz. I'm Jack. And, and I we Lomir. are NBNN. Don't forget Lomir. That's right. Yes. Sitting, sitting, sitting on the lot in the fishy smell spot. Have a That's great right. day, everybody. We'll see you all tomorrow. And that's out to us from Andrew. <laughs> <laughs>